Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday, everybody. Today, I will be taking y'all along my day of healthy eating and showing y'all meals that I eat along my weight loss journey and a calorie deficit. Somebody commented asking if I say, if I almost mistakenly say, hey, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. <laughs> I almost always do because it's such a habit for so many years, but I always catch myself. But yes, I almost always do. But I am getting my day started. I got ready for the day. Here's a little outfit check because i know y'all like to see my little outfits of the day i got my little combat boots it's just like a simple outfit of the day i got my pants i got my plaid shirt today because it's kind of cool outside with a little hoodie and yeah just a little simple outfit of the day but very cute it's like dressed down for me but also dressed up you know looking cute in a way so yeah hopefully this gives you a little outfit idea but today or this morning we're gonna go ahead and get our morning started i haven't had anything to eat i've just been drinking water and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast. I'm in the mood for breakfast. And there is like a protein pancake mix that I've been wanting to try. I picked it up a few weeks ago and I wanted to see if it's any good. So let's go ahead and get started on breakfast. So this is the waffle pancake protein mix that I've been wanting to try. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen it in stores, but I personally have never tried it before. And I was in the store a couple weeks ago. My husband saw it, he's like, hey, you should try this. So I was like, okay, cool. We're gonna be making some waffles out of it today because I have like my mini dash waffle makers and we'll just make it with some simple eggs and meat on the side. I was gonna try to make like a McGriddle replacement, but I don't have any sausage patties on hand. So hopefully within these next couple days, we can go ahead and try it into a McGriddle as well. So stay tuned for that recipe, but let's go ahead and just try it regular by itself. So these are by Kodiak. These are their power cakes, flapjack and waffle mix, buttermilk. All you do, it says just add water and it has 15 grams of protein per serving. Um, a serving size is half a cup and it makes about three, four inch flapjacks. Um, and there's nine servings per container, 220 calories per container, uh, serving and 15 grams of protein per serving. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and give these a try because I've absolutely have never tried them before. And they've always, I've always seen them. I know they have pre-made ones, I think in like the frozen section, but we're just going to give them a try and see what it's all about. Okay. So flap, it has... It has a recipe for the pancakes and it has a recipe for the waffles. So we're going in with waffles today. So you're gonna get one cup of the mix, three fourth cup of water and one tablespoon of oil. Um, and it also gives you power up with three hearty protein options. You can add 15 grams, just add water or you can, okay, so 15 grams of protein, you just add water if you just want 15 grams of protein. It says replace water with milk if you want 18 grams of protein and replace water with milk and an egg if you want 21 grams of protein. So we might do milk and egg so we can get 21 grams of protein in. We'll see, I don't know, because it does add calories if you do it that way too. We'll just do it with water today. We'll do it with water today, see how it goes. And if I don't really like it and I think it'll be better with milk and egg, we'll try it like that next time. But let's just go ahead and add water but I will be adding a little bit of vanilla to it because I like vanilla. I got my little mini dash waffle maker. I absolutely love these things, you guys. You can find these on Amazon. They're in my Amazon storefront. So if you would like to um, get one, definitely get your hands on one. They're awesome to make little mini pancakes. There's some in Target as well. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and have this heating up. We're gonna go ahead and measure out our serving size, which is one cup to make the waffles. I don't know how many mini waffles it's gonna make, but We'll see. We're gonna go ahead and add this to a bowl. Then right here, it says 3 4 cup of water, one tablespoon of oil. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a splash of vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good mix. And if these are good, we could always like use these. You can add in some add-ins if you like, or toppings on top, like some fruit or whatever you may like even around like christmas time um i know people like to add different stuff to their pancakes like whipped cream and things it'll just be like a good base they do have i don't think it's the kodiak brand what brand is it i cannot remember for the life of me what brand it is but i know they have frozen keto waffles and i've tried them before and they were really good i'll go ahead and like pop up a little picture of the brand that i'm talking about but there is some frozen keto waffle options out there that you can just go ahead and buy if you don't want to make any. Before I start cooking up my waffles, I'm going to go ahead and cook up some turkey bacon on the side. I'm going to go ahead and cook up two strips of turkey bacon. I 
I don't know if these waffles will stick, but we're just going to go ahead and spray it down a little bit anyways. Just in case. And then usually like to make the perfect waffle in these because they're so little, um, two tablespoons is a pretty good start. So we're going to go ahead and scoop that in there. Pretty good spread to the edges. I love these little, and these come in like different shapes too. I love them. I have Halloween ones. Most of them I have Halloween. All right, we're going to go ahead and let this cook. You'll know it's ready when you hear, you'll hear like a little click, but then it won't tug back, back as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it. It smells super good. I would recommend, I can smell the vanilla, um, but overall it smells pretty sweet. It got nice and cooked through, got a little bit crispy. We're going to go ahead and take this one out. And then you're just going to continue the rest until you're done with your batter. I'm pretty sure if you have a regular size waffle maker, this would probably make about two maybe like two big waffles, but I absolutely love to make the mini ones. And then if I don't eat them all, I like to put them in the fridge for like leftovers or you could freeze them. My turkey bacon is done cooking. I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna cook up some eggs. I'm just gonna make scrambled eggs. I'm gonna pick up two eggs for me. are done we're just waiting on the waffles i was able to make five mini waffles out of this so i'm pretty sure if you do regular size waffles you'll probably get about two we're gonna go ahead and serve up two of the waffles for right now and the syrup that i'm gonna go ahead and go in with i have on hand is by good good i had got this in my keto crates absolutely delicious it's sugar-free keto approved but if you don't have this kind of syrup on hand they do sell sugar-free syrup in store that you can just buy really excited to try these waffles because they smell really good so hopefully the texture and the aftertaste is good as well. All right, let's go ahead and try our waffles. I am drinking water. Somebody asked me if I get in a lot of water. I do. I just don't show it, but I do get in a lot of water throughout the day, a couple of bottles of water. All right, let's go ahead and try these waffles. I do like the texture so far. Um, they look like they have a nice crispy edge, which I like, and then they're soft in the inside. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, those are better than I thought. They're sweet. They're really good. I thought they were going to have like a weird, um, like powdery protein aftertaste, but they really don't. This is definitely a good, quick and easy, delicious breakfast. You could prep these ahead of time. You can even meal prep them to have in your fridge. If you're going to work, just make some the night before and you'll have them ready to go. Again, if you are doing strict keto, they do have options. I pop up that picture for y'all in the brand that you can find. Usually it's in the frozen section, like I said, and I have tried those too, and those are really good. So if you were just doing low calorie, these will be a great option. And then you have your keto option, but I'm going to go ahead, sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Hey guys, happy Friday. As you can see, I'm at Kroger. Okay. I know this is so random. Uh, so as you can see, today is a new day. Um, yesterday when I was recording, I recorded my breakfast, I got that in and everything, but I ended up having a really bad day after breakfast. It was not a good day at all. We have, well, we all have our days, but I don't like to record when I'm not myself. Um, I don't like to be on camera if I'm not having a good day and I shouldn't be doing that anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up where I left off today. I actually had the same breakfast as yesterday. So as y'all saw, I made the waffles and the turkey bacon and the eggs. I had the same breakfast today. So we're just going to pick up where we left off. Today is a new day. Happy Friday. Um, and I'm having a really good day. Um, everything is good now. We all have our days and we just keep pushing forward. Okay. <laughs> but currently I am at Kroger. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some stuff for dinner. Um, it's only one o'clock. I only had breakfast. Like I said, um, we're going to pick up some things for dinner. We'll go home. We'll have a protein shake. I got a few things to do today. Um, and we're going to have a good day. So let's head into Kroger today. I am going to be showing you a, a soup. It is keto approved. I do have a separate video recipe on this, but it's from a long time ago. 
well, how do you pronounce it? Toscano Zumpa soup, Toscan Zumpa. Y'all know what I mean. I'm gonna pop up the soup name right here because I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's like the Italian sausage with the kale and all that good stuff. It is keto approved, this recipe. I will be showing y'all a dessert later on. I haven't had mug cakes in so long. So I thought I'd show y'all a simple mug cake recipe. And it's just gonna be an overall good day of eating. So let's go ahead and head on into Kroger. Oh my god, look what they have. <gasps> I haven't seen these in so long. I'm grabbing one. These are my absolute favorite drinks. Keto approved or low carb, whatever you want to say. The diet green tea mixed berry are so good. So I'm grabbing a pack. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and get is some kale. I'm going to get a big bag of kale. We're going to go ahead and grab a head of cauliflower. And I did grab some garlic and a yellow onion and I'm making my family some potato soup so I grabbed some potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and grab some chicken broth. I'm gonna grab the less sodium one. I'm gonna grab some fully cooked bacon today just because we like it a little bit better. And since they're on sale for two for six, we're gonna grab two. I grabbed some Italian sausage for the soup. I needed some more coffee so I just grabbed these breakfast blends. I think the last thing we need is just a little bit of heavy cream. All right, guys, I am back home. So I had went to the grocery store and I had to pick up my boys from school. And I literally just got home from getting their haircuts. It was a long wait and I have three boys. They had to get their haircuts. Um, and it took a while, so it's around six o'clock already. I was gone for like three hours, but I was literally just getting their haircuts and then came back home. I got them some food because I was gonna make them potato soup, but it's already gonna be later, so I'm just gonna roll it over for tomorrow for my family, but I got them some Chick-fil-A, that's what they wanted. But we're gonna go ahead and make um, some dinner for us. Um, I only had breakfast today, like I said. I had those waffles, those protein waffles, and I haven't had anything since then, so we're gonna go ahead and make our soup, and then later on we'll make our dessert. Sorry if this video is a little short, but yeah, it was just sitting there waiting for a haircut, and I had to do it today because they desperately needed a haircut, so I wanted to get that done before the weekend. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start on our soup. Um, it's super simple to make, and this is a keto-approved recipe, so if you are doing just keto, this recipe is definitely going to be for you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm warming up a pan. Sorry if you hear my husband in the background at all. He's playing the game so excuse that but I'm heating through a pot first thing we're gonna do is you hear him he's yelling <laughs> but I do the same thing during a game okay so first thing you're gonna do we're gonna take this packet of mild Italian sausage and we're gonna cook it down we're gonna go ahead and add this to our pot we're just gonna go ahead and cook this all the way through and you want to go ahead and break it apart as well in the meantime, while the sausage cooks down, you're gonna go ahead and dice up a yellow onion. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to my handy dandy chopper. If you're ever interested in this, I have it linked below in my Amazon storefront. I absolutely love this thing and it comes with different attachments. It makes chopping onions so much easier. Okay, once you have broken apart your sausage and you cook it through, you're just gonna go ahead and take it out. We're going to drain the fat a little bit and you're going to add it to a bowl. I'm going to keep the grease in or you can add a little bit of oil so we can go ahead and saute the onion. To our pot, we're going to go ahead and add our chopped yellow onion. To your onion, you also want to add in some minced garlic. And then you're just going to saute it until you get the onions nice and translucent. So just give it a few minutes. While your onions are getting translucent, you're going to go ahead and chop up one head of cauliflower into florets and give them a good rinse. You just want them about this size. Once your onions are translucent, you're going to add in 40 ounces of chicken broth. Then add in half a cup of water and you're going to add in all your cauliflower florets. 
You're gonna go ahead and boil this for 20 minutes until your cauliflower is nice and tender. While your cauliflower is getting nice and tender, in the meantime, if you're using fresh bacon, you wanna go ahead and get it nice and crispy. But since I bought this microwavable bacon today, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it in the microwave, get it nice and crispy, and chop it up. Okay, after 20 minutes of your cauliflower boiling, now you're gonna go ahead and add back in that Italian sausage. We're gonna give this a good mix. We're gonna bring out some Italian seasoning and some black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and add a good amount of Italian seasoning, whatever your heart says. I just season with my heart. You wanna add in some black pepper and a little salt to taste, and you can adjust it at the end if you need to. And we're just gonna go ahead and continue sim simmering this for another 10 minutes. Well, that's simmering for another 10 minutes. In the meantime, you wanna go ahead and rinse about three cups of kale. After 10 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and add in your kale. I'm gonna give this a good mix and let it just like cook down a little bit. You guys, my house smells so good right now. I'm so ready for this. It was a cold, it wasn't cold cold, but it was a little rainy, chilly day. So this is definitely going to hit the spot tonight. After your kale, you're just going to go ahead and add in 3 4 cup of heavy cream. Give it a good mix and then you want to go ahead and bring this back to a simmer just for a few minutes. And at this point, you can go ahead and taste it to see if it needs any more salt or any other seasoning. Alright, once it comes to a simmer, you're going to go ahead and turn off your heat and we're going to serve it up here in a second. We're just going to let it cool off a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and serve me up a little serving. It's still hot, but I'm just going to put it in my bowl to cool down. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. This is definitely going to hit the spot. Gotta get the extra juice. Okay, so the toppings that I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with are optional. You can top it off with whatever you want. But I'm gonna go in with a little shredded Parmesan cheese. Then I'm gonna add that chopped crispy bacon. Then I personally like to add a little red chili flakes just for a little kick. And here is dinner, our simple, delicious soup for this cold, rainy day. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and dig into our soup. I let it cool down a little bit. I'm about to get some, I'm about to play some games and get some work done. <laughs> but let's dig into our soup. It's been a while since I've had this. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. I'm not even going to pronounce the name because I always butcher it. But usually the soup you can get at Olive Garden, but it has potatoes in it. Um, you can use potatoes, but I think I didn't want so many carbs today. And I think cauliflower is a great replacement for that. So definitely give this a try. Keto friendly. Um, I'll put all the ingredients and the macros down in the description below so y'all can have this recipe for yourself. I have an older video on it, but I'll go ahead and put it down in the description just in case you don't want to dig through it. But this soup is so comforting. It's so flavorful and it's so good. Absolutely love it. And I'm having some diet green tea mixed berry um, by Lipton. I absolutely love these teas and I can never find them anywhere. And I guess Kroger has them. I hadn't been to Kroger in a while. I never really go to Kroger, but lately I have been and they have them. And now I'm going to grab them because they don't have them at H-E-B anymore. They don't have them at Walmart no more. So I guess Kroger is the only place I can find them. These are so good. Keto approved. Um, they're really good okay i absolutely love these these are probably another one of my favorite i um i don't have a lot of drinks that i drink because i'm not a soda person i know a lot of people like to like my husband likes to drink like coke zero and things like that but tea is my weakness so y'all have seen my other favorite tea and this is another favorite one i absolutely love tea those are my top favorites um so definitely give these a try if you haven't they're better code but I'm going to go ahead, sit down, and enjoy dinner, and don't go anywhere because I will be showing y'all how to make a delicious keto mug cake. All right, you guys, I ate the soup, and it was absolutely delicious. It was really, really good. Dion enjoyed it as well. But I'm going to show you how to make just like a simple dessert. I was craving something sweet tonight, so we're going to make a cinnamon roll mug cake that's keto approved. I haven't made a mug cake in a, a while, so I thought I'd make one and show y'all this easy recipe. So you're going to want a mug that is microwavable, um, whatever mug you have. I like to get a big one because I like it to fill up the cup. I don't want it to overflow. So whatever big coffee mug that you have that is microwavable. To your coffee mug, first we're going to go ahead and melt down two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You just want to get it nice and melted really quickly. Okay, once you have your butter melted in your mug just like this, we're going to go ahead and go in with our flour. So today we are using some almond flour. You're gonna add in five tablespoons.
So this recipe will make two servings. So you can divide it into two mugs, but I just thought I'd do one big mug and then just save another serving for tomorrow. Now we're gonna go in with our sweetener. Today I'm using Swerve Brown Sugar. I was trying to find Golden Erythritol, but they didn't have none in my store, so I thought um, Swerve Brown Sugar would be a good replacement as well. We're gonna go in with two tablespoons. Then you're gonna add in about two teaspoons of cinnamon half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one large egg. So these are all the ingredients that are gonna go in the mug cake besides a frosting that we're gonna make for the topping. You're just gonna go ahead and give everything a good stir until it's well combined. It should look something like this. You wanna make sure you get to the bottom and make sure you mix um, all the almond flour together with the ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and let's prepare our frosting before we microwave our mug cake. For the topping, you're gonna want half an ounce of softened cream cheese. We're gonna go ahead and add a little sweetener to it. The sweetener that we're gonna go in with is Swerve Confectioner Sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and add in one tablespoon. Then you just wanna add a little bit at a time um, some almond milk so we can mix it together and get it nice and creamy. That's why you need your cream cheese to be softened because if it's not softened, it's not gonna mix well. You have your icy mix. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop our mug cake in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds or just until it's cooked all the way through. After a minute and 30 seconds, it should be nice and fluffy like this and it should be cooked through. Now you're gonna go ahead and top it off with your frosting. So you just wanna pour it right on top. And it's going to go ahead and seep to the bottom. You could even top it off with a little bit more cinnamon if you like. And again, got our little sweet treat for the end of the night. Mmm. This is so good. Nice and warm. It's best fresh. Definitely enjoy it. Fresh out the microwave. I tell you, just like a cinnamon roll. This will look great with some like low calorie keto proof ice cream on the side as well. It's so good. And it's so like moist and soft and, and warm in the center. And then the icing is nice and sweet on top. This is really good. This one is probably one of my favorite mug cakes. I have, I used to make a lot of mug cakes. Some of them, it just depends. I feel like a lot of the brownie ones come out a little bit more bitter because it is like cocoa powder. But this one is really good. You can't, it tastes just like a cinnamon cake it's it's nice it's really good nicely sweetened but i really hope y'all enjoyed today's recipes even that soup that soup was amazing i saw a lot of y'all comments saying that y'all been wanting to make that so definitely give it a try and give this easy mug cake a try don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one